see how this works. Okay, so turn to your next blank page and we're going to title it Greatest Common Factor. Guys, who's making noise over there? Alani, what's going on? Oh, Natasha? Okay, time to be quiet, please. Thank you. Okay, so title your page, Greatest Common Factor, and Greatest Common Factor. So our title, so it's capitalized and underlined, GCF. Bless you. Okay, so um, we are going to be using this to find basic ratios. So to start out with, we're going to look at this question. What is the basic ratio of 60 to 140? Those are much bigger numbers than we've ever worked with so far. So that's why we really want to find that GCF to help us out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that a ratio is part of a ratio table, right? And in a ratio table, each row is a ratio, and they're all equivalent ratios, right? Because they make proportions. So, we're going to pretend like 60 to 140 is at the bottom of an imaginary ratio table. So, I'm going to skip some lines and I'm going to say 60 to 140. So, it's kind of like this imaginary, and I'll use yellow because it's imaginary. We're just imagining our table here. And if you remember, we always put the basic ratio with this oval thing at the top. We've seen that on our assignment. And the oval is going to be our basic ratio. Well, depending on what happens next, I'll show you. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by the same number. What is a number that I can easily divide both sides evenly by? What is a number? Alex? Um, two. two. They're both even because they end in zero, so we know two goes in. So I'm going to say divided by 2. So everybody, what is 60 divided by 2? 30. 30. And everybody, what is 140 divided by 2? 70. Nice mental math. Okay, then I'm going to ask myself, can I divide both these numbers again? Yes. 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 What could I divide by? Who wants to give me, give me something, Milani? By 5, we know if it ends in 0, then 5 has to go in evenly, right? So I'm going to draw another arrow to my next row. And I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 70 divided by 5 is? Oh, you might need to do a little helper problem. I heard the answer over there. Good mental math. What is it? 14. Okay. Can I divide both numbers by another number? Yes. Yes. What could we divide by? What could we divide by? 
Two. They're both even. So we could divide them both by two. What is six divided by two? What is 14 divided by 2? Uh, so, can I divide 3 and 7 by anything evenly? Besides 1, right? But I would just get 3 and 7 again, and that doesn't make any sense. So, my basic ratio, by coincidence, actually wound up being right here at the top. So, my basic ratio is 3... Two, seven. That's not my DCF though. Okay. Greatest common factor. So we can just keep dividing to to find our basic ratio. But there's actually a shortcut. Any ideas? Okay. So our shortcut involves that good old GCF. So, this is one way to find your basic ratio. The other way is your GCF way. So, we're going to take 60 and we're going to say factors of 60. And we're going to take 140 and we're going to say factors of 140. So, I'm going to make a list of factors, but let me get you started. One goes into both numbers, right? So, you could start with one, and at the end of your list, it's self, right? And I'm putting commas to separate my numbers. So, starting with 60, what other factors divide evenly into 60? Ezra. Two, it's even. What else? Raise your hand. Give me factors of 60. Hold in. Three. Three. What else? Alex. 20. Um, I might go a little out of order. I think that's okay. What else? Five. Five. Job. Grant. Ten. Ten. And six. Evan. 30. I could think of at least two more. What do you think, TJ? 15. Ooh. And I know there's one more. I'm going to have to squeeze it in. 12. Oh, 12 is another one, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, I didn't leave myself much room. I'm going to put 12 up here. <laughs> Alex? Four. Four. Is there more, Ezra? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we got them all. <laughs> now, factors of 140. We're probably going to need to write smaller. Okay, raise your hand and give me your factors. Um, let's see, hold it. And do you know 2 times what? 2 times 70. Okay, yep. What else goes into 140? Wait. 7. 7. 7 times? 20, 7 times 20. Okay, what else? What else are you thinking? Uh, 10 and 140. Um, um, 10 and not 140, but 10 and? 14, 10 times 14. Mm. Ends in 0, so I know 5 goes into it, but how many times? Do a little math problem if you need to. Raise your hand. 80? Well, 5 times 8 is 40, plus a 0 is 400. So it's not 80. 28? How did you get 28? And you got 28. Okay. We got 20. Do we have them all? 28. 13. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think we got them. Okay. Four. Four times. <coughs> 
34 things? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I should have. Times four, right? Mm. Yeah, because four goes into 40, but it doesn't go into 100. 35 times what? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four times 35. Four. Oh, we didn't have four on here, did we? And 35. Okay. Here's the next thing we need to do. Now we're going to circle the factors in common between our two lists. So I see a 1 here and a 1 here, a 2 here, a 2 here, 5 is in common, 4 is in common, yep, oh, 10, what else do you guys see? 20. Oh, 20. We didn't have add 20 on there. Yeah, we didn't. Is that it? Okay, um, so now the factors in common are circles. Which is the greatest factor that is circled in both lists? Maddie. 20. So our GCF is 20. Let me show you how this can be very helpful. If we go back to our original ratio table, right, we put 60 to 140 on the bottom, correct? This time, when I do my arrows, I'm going to divide by my GCF, which is 20. Ah, divided by 20. What is 60 divided by 20? Yeah, it would be three. Three. And what is 140 divided by 20? What's my basic ratio? <laughs> so you have two ways that you can find a basic ratio. They are. This one's going to take you longer, but it works. If you can find that GCF, it's not going to take as long. So your notes are the I do. Now you're going to open up your workbook to the next page, leave your notes open, and we will do one together. You can always come sit up here.